I'm overwhelmed with happiness and joy beyond measure that today my cousin, my boy, That's all right. Take your time. That's all right. That's all right. One I have decisively taken under my wings in the midst of desperate hour. And one who has been courageously undertake his responsibility as a young man without any disappointment nor shame is, being, is beginning to share the rest of his life with the woman of his dream. This letter was sent to you earlier. If you're reading this, I'm long gone. The big day is finally upon us. You know I'm beyond stoked. I'm getting goosebumps just writing this. I wanted to wait until the day before the wedding to finish this letter, but due to a series of unfortunate events, I didn't know if I'd be able to. As I sit here and reminisce on our past, I'm so proud of the woman that you're flourishing into. It's simply amazing. We've been there for one, we've been there for one another since high school. From our young days at teen court to the boom boom house. And everything in between. As we prepare to embark on this journey of unity, Promise me you will never change. Continue to be the same old Brie kid that does certain things to work my last nerve. Never stop being yourself. To admit words cannot express how ecstatic, ecstatic and blessed I am to be called your wife and my desire to commit to you to join with you today and all that is to come our lifetime. You are truly a blessing with you I feel safe, secured, loved and complete. I'm so happy with how everything turned out with us. Through the times with us living miles away, the long drive to the airport, watching us, the plane, take off, it was so worth it and it made us so strong. I'm looking forward to what our future holds. With that I say, I really, I fiercely promise to continue to be there for you when life seems easy, when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it's an effort. I'm going to continue to be your biggest fan, <laughs> to comfort you when the Lakers lose and drink wine with you when they win. Now look at the time, we are a few minutes away from being, from me being in your arms by your side, your rib, being there to encourage your hopes and dreams and to help you grow more into the man God created you to be. I love you so much, baby. Welcome, welcome. We are gathered here in the sight of God, in the presence of family and friends, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Marriage is honorable in the sight of God. In the book of Corinthians, chapter 1, 13, 4, 8 says this, Love suffer long and is kind. Bear all things to one another. Believe all things. Hope all things, and finally, endure all things, because love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails.
Izai. I Izai. Take Brikia. Take Brikia. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. And joy and sorrow. And joy and sorrow. And I promise. And I promise. My love to you. My love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you. I take you. As my wife. My wife. For as long. For as long. As we both. As we both. Shall live. Shall live. I break you. I break you. Take Isaiah. Take you, Isaiah. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. And I promise. And I promise. My love to you. My love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you. I take you. As my husband. As my husband. For as long. For as long. As we both. As we both. Shall live. By the power that is invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. are my best friends. I would say, you know how you have one? No, both of them are. And I can say, um, you two, I love you guys. To see the, their love grow and to see them from being friends to being engaged and to having their wedding today is an amazing thing. You know, bro, I just want to say, man, I'm just really happy that you found the right one. Um, as the you know, Bible said, you know, Eve came from the rib bone. That's your rib bone, you know? Um, that's why she's half your size. This <laughs>